Okay, see Lindelof videos using your TI Inspire CAS calculator on probabilities. My intention here is to do like five really, really quick videos and show you how to do this. I chose relatively simple problems just to show you the keystrokes of how this works. So I'm going to try to keep each video under three minutes so I have to get going. I got my questions from CUDASoftware.com. It's a public domain. And here's the problem. It says, you are dealt five cards from a standard and shuffled deck of playing cards. Note that a standard deck has 52 cards, and four of those are kings. What is the probability that you'll have at most three kings in your hand? So here's the answer. The answer is 54,144 over 54,145, or 99.998%, which you couldn't give two craps about. But check this out. This is a really cool way to do this. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to my home screen. I'm going to choose my calculator. See, I'm not going to scratch pad. I'm going to calculator. And then I'm just going to set up this problem. If you think about how this problem would be set up, it would look, I think, like this. So control division just gives us a solidus, right? Just gives us this whole thing. And then I'm just going to use my commands. I'm going to go menu, probability, probability combinations. And remember, we want, it says, What's the probability that you'll have at most three kings in your hand? So not four kings, not five kings. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to subtract this out. So let me do this. I'm going to do one minus this, right? So and four, pick four, right? What's so at the top, we have how many ways to get the thing we're interested in. So we have to, there are four kings. We have to pick all four of them. There's a total of five cards, though, right? So I'm going to go back to menu, hit probabilities, hit combinations, and then here I'm going to have probability of there's, we're going to pick four cards, so there are 48 cards left. So 48, and of those, we're going to choose one of them, right? We're going to choose one of those cards. And at the bottom, menu, probability, combinations, there's 52 cards, and you are going to pick five of them. So look. As you can see, I'm not trying to teach you how to do probabilities. I'm saying if you know what the problem should look like, this is how you could put it into your calculator really quickly and save yourself a buttload of time on getting your answer. So here I'm, here I'm just going to hit enter. There's this answer, and that's the answer that CUDA software provides. But what if your professor or your teacher is asking for it as a percent? Then all you do is this. You hit control and hit enter again, and you see over the enter sign there's this approximation key, and there it is. So 99. 9982. So our answer is more specific than the one that CUDA software provided. This is really easy. You just have to practice it a lot. And again, you have to know how to do the probabilities first. But this is a hell of a lot easier than trying to figure out the combination of 4 pick 4 times the combination of 48 pick 1 divided by the combination of 52 pick 5. And then subtract 1 subtracting that crap out. A much quicker way. So I hope this is helpful. Just it's kind of one of those things you kind of got to goof around with it. It will save you a tremendous amount of time. So I hope it's helpful, you guys. Peace. Oh, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. And of course, any questions you have, I'll do my best. Right. Peace.